Okay, so today we're going to do a bunch of basic um, integral problems um, without any kind of uh, substitution, um, just really basic integrals so that we can start getting the idea um, about how to take the antiderivative. So the first one we're going to do is 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 dx. Um, we're going to take this antiderivative or integral term by term, um, and the way that we're going to do that is we look at the x's first. So um, I'm going to write the x here. I'm going to deal with this term first, the 3x plus squared. So I write the x. The first thing we do with the antiderivative is add 1 to each of the exponents. So instead of 2 here, we're going to add 1, and it's going to be 3. Um, because if you remember when you take the derivative, the exponent always decreases by 1. So when we're taking the antiderivative, it's going to increase by 1. So we're going to have x to the third. And then the second step, whenever you're taking the integral, is to divide the coefficient by the new exponent. So in this case, 3, the coefficient, divided by the new exponent, 3. 3 over 3 is 1. So we could write a 1 there, but it disappears. And you know that that's true, because if you take the derivative again of x to the third, you would get 3x squared, so you know that we did it correctly. So x to the third, and then uh, with this term now, x, the exponent here is 1, so we add 1, and the new exponent is 2. We take the coefficient, and we divide by the new exponent. 2 over 2 is 1, so we don't need to write that. And then um, the antiderivative of 1, which is always just x, um, the derivative of x would, of course, be 1, so the antiderivative of 1 is x. Um, and then whenever we're taking the antiderivative or the integral of something, we always have to put plus c, which stands for a constant, because um, in, this, uh, in this function here, we could have, say, plus 1, or plus 2, or plus 3, or whatever constant would be here, and if we took the derivative, that would disappear, and you wouldn't see it in, in this equation up here. So you never know if there was a constant um, on the integral function before. You always have to add c to cover that. And that's the answer.